what up? This is another episode of Let's View It Again. I am Gene. To my left is still. What's up, y'all? My wonderful co-host. My lover, my secretary. My yin to my yang. My bro to my hand. <laughs> All of it. All them noises. Yeah, hey, we back. How you feeling today, still? I'm feeling good. We're reviewing one of my favorite movies. <laughs> As you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It's classic. Um, yeah. I don't have a lot to say. <laughs> I won't have a lot to say on today's episode. You'll be all right. I, I, uh, You'll be all right. Yeah, I'm not going to yuck your yum, man. Oh, uh, you know, you enjoy it. Every who, time. Who are me to judge? Who are you? So, um, if, if everyone hadn't uh, taken a look at today's title, I heard the intro. This is uh, 1997's BAPS. Mm. And it is Steph's pick. <laughs> for the day I came out the m- movie feeling <laughs> probably worse than I did going into the movie just so, let it um, go it, it is what it is it is what it is it ain't what it ain't and but it's great speak on it sister everybody doesn't have to like it for it to be the best no not everyone has to like it to be the best yeah everyone just has to try it have a bake you are you are so correct <laughs> I love Cone hey so if you um Want to go ahead and give these people a rundown of, of BAPS? We let's can jump right it. into let's it. Do it. Let's I do guess, it. Um, did you have anything discussed before we get started? We're going to jump right into this thing? Nothing? Uh, Nothing? No pressing issues? No, we can just start with the synopsis. All right, let's go. I'm ready. All right, so we have Nisi and Mickey, who are girlfriends who work as waitresses to get the necessary money for opening their dream restaurant slash salon, they fly to California to audition for a music video. Their niece is asked by the nephew of a Mr. Blakemore, who is the video director, the nephew is, to act as a, excuse me, to act for a week as the granddaughter of Lily, Mr. Blakemore's one true love, whom he lost long ago and couldn't pursue because he was with, he because she I can't read either. <laughs> because she when you watch she was the family's housekeeper. So Lily was supposedly Mr. Blake Moore's housekeeper. It wasn't just because she was a housekeeper. I'm pretty sure it's because she was black. They couldn't be together. So they revived. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess it could be the other. It could be the other. I mean. Too, huh? We Both didn't, didn't and it, <laughs> they revive issue. Blake Moore's interest for life, and he teaches them to be black. American princesses. Are you a bap? I'm a bap. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's get into uh, this cast. Well, I'm gonna I'll start with uh, just you know a few facts about the film. Go ahead. Uh, the film's protagonist N- N- Nisi, Nisi and Mickey are played by Holly Berry and Natalie DeSalle. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, DeSalle, Natalie DeSalle. Uh, this wasn't my part. It so. wasn't, and I didn't look up a pronunciation, so I apologize. By 1997, Holly Berry had already done Boomerang. You can go back and listen to the episode to hear her run down. Uh, losing Isaiah was probably her largest role by this time. She did some smaller stuff. She had signed on as a Revlon spokesperson by 1997. Miss um, DeSale, who is, I don't know if you knew this, is from Alexandria, and went to Peabody and Graham. Yes, so, I hey. found that out, you know, after yeah, she doing passed. Your research? Oh, okay, okay. Um, oh, this is my first time hearing I believe it, I so. saw a post from her brother. I think he's a newscaster. Don't let yeah, me lie, you, but you, he, uh, his post became popular. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Alexandria, you know what I'm saying? And she went to Graham. Prior to this movie, she only had a small role and set it off, and she was, uh, like, on the episode of Family Matters. Um, she went on later in the year to be a supporting have a supporting role in How to Be a Player. Yes. Um, and then she did some television. She really do a lot of big stuff after this. Sadly, she passed away in December of 2020 at age of 53. That really sucks. I think Eve had a good run. She was uh, Eve's... She was... I I didn't see that on there. Yeah, she, she on my played research. in Eve. Uh, I, the show the Eve, but I can't remember Eve's name in the show. The show was called Eve. But her name was But her Eve. name was I don't Eve even know if I knew Eve in the had show. a show. Yes. Pitbull in the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, it also stars Martin Landau as the old guy. Um, he had like 178 credits. We 
none of the stuff I was familiar with. I'm That's sh- uh, Mr. Blake Moore. Correct, Mr. Okay. Blake Moore, the old man. Uh, <laughs> it's Martin Landau. He he was like an Ed Wood. It's probably maybe the only movie I've seen of his. But other than that, no, he did a lot of stuff though. I'm sure this was a low point in his career. <laughs> Well, he um, took also, the check, so. he did. He <laughs> must have owed somebody some money. Um, also, stars like Pierre, AJ Johnson, Brandon Mac shows up. Uh, Dolomite has a speaking role. Uh, Rudy Ray Moore, that is his name, is not Dolomite, but yeah. Um, <laughs> a few film facts: the film was released March 28, nineteen ninety seven. Had a ten million dollar budget. Budget had a ten million dollar <laughs> budget. We own it today. Ret- <laughs> this is because this was. This is what Baps. Does to your <laughs> intellect. <laughs> the film had a $10 million budget, returning only $7.4 million of that at the box office. It was director Robert Townsend's fifth film, his fourth, if you don't count Eddie Murphy's Raw, which he also He's directed. He's a genius. Sorry. Everybody has low points. He's probably uh, best known for directing 1991 The Five Heartbeats. He directed Leon again in, in 2000's Little Richard uh, biopic and um, also shot Carmen, a hip hopper. I don't know if I knew that. I, I think I knew that. Yeah. Um, probably not the time where so, it came out, you know, when we were younger, but low later point on. in his career. Uh, Babbles was written by Troy Byer, who is also in the film as the lawyer with the big wig. She probably <laughs> best known for, also from uh, Five Heartbeats. She played Baby Doll in that film. Uh, she wrote this film and didn't care for Robert Townsend's take on it. Me and her are in agreement on that. So she didn't like the final she did not. product? She did not. This uh, is I documented. Mean, really? Yeah. Funny. It's on my fat card. I don't lie. So she was in it, but she didn't like she the wrote product. The, she wrote yeah, the movie. Yeah, I know movie, she wrote it, but she was she actually was in, in it, it. And yes. She just didn't care she, for the final cor- product. Yeah, correct. That's, huh, that's interesting. Her along with <laughs> millions of <laughs> Apparently, other. Eugene. Millions anyway. of other Americans. Um, 1997 facts. Minimum wage was 515. It was Ooh, the wow. same when I started working five years later. So not much change. Uh, the Packers won the Super Bowl. Um, Bop and Beanie Babies happened. And we also lost Princess Di, Chris Farley, and Notorious B.I.G., who passed in March of 97. He didn't get to see Baps. That's sad. Oh. Not according to you. <laughs> well... That would have sent him to an early grave anyway. Baby, baby. All right, let's get let's into it, it. So clearly, Eugene is not feeling Babs, but I love Babs. It is a movie I've watched. I don't know how many times. No, you cannot. It's my turn. Mm-hmm. And it's a cult classic now. I'm pretty sure when it came out, it didn't have a favorable It made $7 uh, million dollars out of, um, on a $10 million budget. It lost money. But it's okay. Not everyone has to like it to be the best because it's a cult classic and people stick and by it. That's what the show is about. And that's what it's about. But I, I, I will. Say, this is, this is, <laughs> this is, this is definitely your pick. Yes, it I don't, is. I don't. I'm not like you know. I'm not gonna lambast the film or anything. We know we don't do that. I already did it. <laughs> I'm just confused, <laughs> and I want what's best for you. Okay. <laughs> so I'm confused. About the love for this film. There's not a lot of endearing moments for me. It's a comedy. What's supposed to be endearing? Okay. Uh, maybe part of it is nostalgia, but. That's a uh, lot of it. I mean, I love it. That's cool. Me and my That's sisters good. love it. I don't, I know it. I want a gold tooth party. If you watch the movie, they, they go to a, a club called. The gold two, the golden two, oh, one of them. The gold two. Uh, it's Tuesday night. You know what that means? Ladies night at the golden two. We get it free. <laughs> go, go, get it, get it, go, go, get it, get it. Um, but yes, I, I would love that because it's funny. But yes, I'm getting into it. it it's my turn mm-hmm. now. You had your time. All right. So first of all, the the film opens and, you know, the second time watching it, you see all the people who have passed, you know, Bernie Max in the first scene. Rest in peace. Uh, like you said, uh, Mickey's character. She has passed. Um, Rude A. Moore did. <laughs> that's not funny, but oh, yes. Oh, 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 I mean. <laughs> he played Dolomite. So he was up in age at this point anyway. Uh 
so yeah, it was kind of sad when the first scene came up, at least for me, because I was like, you know, all so many of these people in this cast are no longer with us. Uh, but anyway, it opens up. <laughs> okay, it was in <laughs> and we find out <laughs> that uh, we're introduced to the main characters. We have Nisi. And Mickey, like the synopsis says, they are waitresses uh, in a diner in Georgia. Decatur. Where's greater? Where's greater? And uh, <laughs> Nikki, uh, excuse me, Nisi starts getting these clues, as she says, good things coming through, like her grandmother mm-hmm. told her. And she decides to go to California to try to win $10,000 to be a video girl for Heavy D. The overweight lovers in the house. A dealer, 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 dealer. Yes, and we <laughs> find out early on that they, uh, these two ladies, have dreams. They want to have a salon slash restaurant. Um, we're introduced to their uh, significant others. Um, and they want to have a uh, pager cab, luxury cab service. These men were ahead of their time. Um, Uber, what is it? Lyft by another name. They were ahead of their time. I'm not only they this knew. is your turn. <laughs> this, is, this is all you, sister. So good things came in three. She uh, saw it what at the diner. She saw it in a magazine. And what was the third time? That's not part of my act. Um, but anyway, it comes to her three times, and so they decide we're going to pick up, going to use whatever money we have to go to California. Like I said. And, of course, uh, the movie wouldn't go any further without uh, Nisi bombing the audition. One of my favorite parts when she... Uh, that's your favorite part? That's one of them. She gets okay. the preview before uh, the audition. Uh, uh, that was good, but uh, you might want to go on home now because I'm here. <laughs> no, stay, because we're going to need a few extras in the video. <laughs> That's a a a, a gift that everybody uses. You, you see that a lot when she's uh bombing. Well, not she hasn't bombed yet, but she's showing what she has outside of the audition. So anyway, <laughs> no music video for her. <laughs> so they're approached by this guy uh, from the movie. I mean, I assume he's Italian based on <laughs> the rest of the movie. But anyway, he proposes uh, that they come with him to be in a music video for his boss. And later on, we find out that's not really the case. Uh, you have a Mr. Blake Moore who is... You said the old man. Yes, the old guy, Warren Landau. <laughs> and his um, nephew has come up with this plan to have uh, Nisi act as Lily's granddaughter. Lily, like I said in synopsis, was supposedly the love of Mr. Blakemore's life. And he drafts them to play. Um, well, he drafts Nisi to play Lily's granddaughter. So that's how they come to live in this mansion for a while. Two weeks. Yes. Mr. Blakemore, <laughs> Blakemore has two weeks to live. That's it's always a short time in a movie. <laughs> they, he has two weeks to live. Artificial constraint, but. Uh, yeah, yes. we never find out exactly what his illness is. Old age. <sighs> <laughs> but you don't just don't know. know somebody's going to die in two weeks. But anyway, um, that pretty much sets the movie up. So they are going to pretend, or Nisi is going to pretend to be Lily's granddaughter. And they're going to show him a good time. I believe. Is, is this where I pick up? Uh, sure. Is there anything you need to discuss in this first portion of the film? I mean, and that's pretty much it. We find out who they are. We find out who their love interests are. We find out what their goal is. And it sets up how they're going to achieve this goal of a salon slash restaurant. I actually like that idea because who doesn't like to, you know? It's a ridiculous business idea. So you mean to tell me? Yes. 
What that is he about to ask me? Yes. If I could you get my could go cut. get your hair cut or yeah. done, you know, if you're a woman, we say done. <laughs> no matter well, what. Well, maybe, maybe it's because the barbers don't wash your hair when they finish. And it's like, I don't want hair on for Oh, well, that's a you problem. <laughs> you're correct. Um, Why don't my, they wash y'all's hair? That's crazy. Baby doll, I can't answer that. Um, <laughs> Um, I don't have anything about Act One. I don't. I don't think I have a lot to add to this movie. Um, I love the Bernie Mac camo, yeah. camo. Cam- See what I'm talking about? Cameo. Um, Slow down that hate. Get the hate <laughs> out your heart. I don't like how they have their gold teeth placed in their mouth incorrectly. Nobody wears their gold teeth like that. How did they wear them incorrectly? They had one like on the on the front too, mm-hmm. and then like the bottom. They should have either been on the K nines or all across. Like it's it's just inaccuracies like that. That lets me know, like, they're not being serious, and but it's not in a good way. Um, it struggles to find its footing, whether it wants to be a comedy or a serious, even in Act One. Dramedy. It's not even a dramedy. Let's it's be a serious. It's a dramedy. Um, that, that's what they were doing, being serious and comedy. Also, <laughs> I don't. I can't remember the the plot entirely of this order list, but isn't it pretty much the same with the fat boy? Then they had the old man. <sighs> And they had to take care. I feel like this is the I same. I feel like I have to go watch I know it again. They didn't win $2, I had not seen that in a long time. Yeah, we're going to bring that back. I guess. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but I'll, I'll take over at this point. After that, you know, they had started to warm up to the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not they, but the old guy was warming up to him. The butler still wasn't. They fixed him with some soul food. That's whatever that's about. <laughs> oh, the butler remains incredulous, but they, uh, as we're watching, we have a sneaking suspicion that the nephew is up to something. And um, it's confirmed later via a phone call that he is up to something. There's this whole ruse that he has with the um, the guy whose name is Antonio, who Mickey uh, has the hots for. He's I don't even know where he comes into the picture. He's just a friend of the nephew, I, I assume. We yeah. don't really get an idea He's, of who. He, he gives them. You that's know, who they met at the, in the. the that's that, him. That's who they meet on the street after the audition. Okay. <laughs> that's how okay. he gets Okay, so that's the Antonio. Store. But he, uh, he we we get him. that he Antonio and the nephew have some of the sleeve, and it all starts to unravel. But uh, the uncle takes the girls out to Rodeo Drive. You know, we have the 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 beautiful montage, which is one of the better scenes in the uh, movie. The uh, the whole fish out of water, teaching them some new montage, which is mm-hmm. pretty good. Uh, the, the girls they finally meet Heavy D in this little <laughs> section. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ain't you that girl that hit the other girl in her face with your hair? Uh-huh. Uh, but Nisi starts to feel tugs from her old life. She wants to kind of get back with her old man. And she's, you know, trying to figure things out. Mickey is not worrying about this. She, like I say, she wants to be with Antonio. She is not worrying about A.J. Johnson. Uh, until she realized that there is some chicanery afoot with Antonio. And what is his name? What is the nephew's name? I honestly don't remember. Okay. I don't even know. With if they Antonio say and the nephew, and uh there's a, a weird scene with them fighting Antonio, and that's pretty much ends that section of the movie. I have <laughs> zero things to add. You make it sound like it, 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 it's, it's, it's my it's my messy. dry delivery <laughs> is perfectly perfectly encapsulates my feelings. So you didn't this. laugh sometimes. I laugh. Okay. But we'll get into that. We'll, we'll get into okay. our favorite scenes and, and the stars uh, who shine brightly. But um, let's move on to the, the final. Let's wrap it up. So <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Isaac. That's his name. The Isaac nephew. Isaac and Antonio. <laughs> Isaac uh, accuses uh, Nisi and Mickey of using Mr. Blakemore for money. And we know that he is the one that's trying to get money out of uh, his uncle, Mr. Blakemore. Um, did I just did I I guess I, I didn't say what the rules was, but that was his plan. Go ahead. Well, I, I'm. I mean, you can tell. You just you can let him know. I, I the, the, the 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 viewers slash <laughs> listeners. You see, Babs has my tongue tied. Go ahead. The viewers slash listeners may have never seen this movie before, so I didn't want them to be lost. Um, you can tell them Antonio and Isaac's plan. Which is... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to steal money from the old man. Well, yeah, Antonio was trying to get money out of uh, the safe. But 
of course, him being, you know, incompetent thief. He didn't I, I thought that was like a, you know, I thought he would, that was like a distraction. I don't know. I, I lost the plot. That's neither here nor there. Go ahead, carry on. Act like I, I didn't say anything in the last three minutes. Carry on with your part. I apologize, listeners. Isaac Sorry. hopes to inherit money from uh Mr. Blake Moore. So, you know, it's like, hey, y'all come here and help my dying uncle live out his <laughs> best days in two weeks. In this mysterious illness. Whatever's yes, killing that, him. That's going to kill him in two weeks. <laughs> Um, but Mr. Blakemore finds out, of course, uh, that Antonio is up to no good. He doesn't know that his nephew's up to no good, but he knows that his uh, Antonio is. And uh, the butler lets Mr. Blakemore know, hey, these girls weren't part of this. They weren't trying to steal because Antonio gets arrested. You know, that's, that's the whole scene. He gets arrested. So... Mickey and Nisi refused the one hundred thousand dollars. It was fifty thousand a piece that Mr. Blakemore uh, which is offered like one hundred eighty thousand dollars in our money, I believe. Really, I for their I company? I don't have my fact sheet in front um, of me. Don't know why they did that, but I guess they were feeling guilty about being a part of the plan, you know, to deceive him originally. So that you know, they they feel guilty and they declined the one hundred thousand dollars. Um, they feel guilty, like I said, for their being a part of the scheme and lying. And um, it seems like where is it going to go? But I, I've been asking it since Nisi's the credits and, uh, came across Nisi the scheme. And Mickey's, where are we going to go? Nisi and Mickey's significant others, they come to the house. So, you know, they get uh, to... The house, and we find out that Ali, who <laughs> does not have a driver's license but wants a luxury, uh, what is it, luxury pager cab service. I want a real man, a man with ambition, goals, real dreams. Well, I got dreams. What you think my pager cab, luxury cab service is? You ain't even got a driver's license. He got his driver's license, which that's one of oh. my favorite quotes. You ain't even got a driver's license. That's one of my favorite We're going to let you just have that <laughs> for the last 10 minutes. So now Ali um, and Mickey's uh, boyfriend are now serious, um, and Ali wants to reconcile because they, I, I forgot to mention that, Ali and Nisi, they were well, really both of the ladies broke up with their boyfriends and they just didn't feel like they were taking things seriously and they want to go out you know make a way for themselves felt like they were being held back in georgia and of course mr blakemore within those two weeks i suppose <laughs> on on day 13 and a half he succumbs to his mysterious illness to whatever the illness is but he does die and the girls or the ladies find out that they have inherited dun, dun, dun. $100 million dollars from Mr. Blakemore. That's a far cry from $100,000. It is. <laughs> By order of, what, 10? Oh, hold on. How many, how many millions? 100, 100. million? Is that an order of 10? 100,000 times 10? Or is that a million? I feel like my man. Baps is really <laughs> that's so about order of a hundred. Let's go. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I apologize to the listeners. This movie has just thrown me for a loop. You good? <laughs> I'm good now. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a hundred million dollars. A hundred million dollars. And we hear the title of the movie. Finally. Mr. Blakemore in his wheel refers to them as beautiful African princesses. If you're wondering. <laughs> He had to have it abbreviated because she she said he leave to my to my baps. Yes, she says the lawyer in says his two baps. weeks. Mm-hmm. That's when he, he spent he his knew, final he, hours. He knew what was before was like, him. Oh, mm. Beautiful African princesses. <laughs> Just let it go. You know when royalty is before you, you can't deny it. I hate you. <laughs> 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 and so we have a beautiful ending. These ladies, of course, are able to use this hundred million to uh, set up their salon slash restaurant. 
Their men are able to start this page of cab, luxury cab service. These men who are ahead of their times. (laughs) (laughs) And the name of the uh, salon slash restaurant is, of course, you remember the name of it? Lily? (laughs) Yes, Lily's. And then they dance. At the end, I don't even. I must have left before that happened. What do you mean? When they were when were they dancing? Oh, they did they a soul the train premiere. line or something. You know they were dancing. Okay, that's a famous I had gift too. <laughs> by this time, <laughs> yes, you probably had. <laughs> but but Dennis Rodman was there. He was there. Dennis Rodman this was a very there. Very thing that was happening. Um, I don't know. Well, you where you had uh. Uh, what do you call it? I guess host, the famous MTV host. Downtown Julie Brown. Is that her name? That's what I thought it was. But anyway, I remember her, you know, being a kid, seeing her on TV. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, like, when she was like, wasn't she from uh, like Australia or something? Like that? Something. Yeah, 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 she wasn't uh, I'm pretty sure that's from. Her name. I'm not going to fact check it. Just take it as word. No, but I, 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 I remember her face. Um, uh, it so, was MTV. It was MTV, I think. Yeah. Yeah, are we wrapping up? Wait a minute. Have, <laughs> wait a minute. Don't rush me. Do you have anything you want to go over in this last section? Um, no, I mean, that's pretty much the movie. Okay. This rags to riches, you find these women, um, you know, coming to resources. For the listeners, she just shushed me. And everyone comes out on top, except for Mr. Blakemore. Except for Mr. Blakemore. Oh, the butler even gets a, a good chunk of change. I we can't remember. Uh, we, we just assume well, he had they the called his name, and then he kind of, you know, gets stunned when she continues talking throughout the wheel. And of course, the nephew Isaac, he gets nothing. Oh, he's left with nothing, 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 nothing. Zero zilch, none, nada. Um, Zero. The last portion of the movie. Once again, Mr. Blakemore bites the bullet. They didn't have to kill the man because I thought when Mickey fixed on the soul food, everything was okay. I was wrong. He had just got finished dancing the night before. Yes. Maybe that's what caused his death. Maybe I don't so. know. Um, he, this is a weird scene <laughs> in a supposed comedy because it's just like, Which am scene? I supposed to? Like it's just it's just thrown in there. Which like one? like when he dies, it's just. Well, we like, knew it was a chance he would die. I thought it was all the rules. Oh, well, you thought that Mr. Blakemore was in on it. Well, did he ever say anything about him, his impending doom? He never said I don't anything. Know. I, yeah, I the don't nephew know. was so it was no reason to kill him. But like I say, I'm not going to. Well, they couldn't. Because, well, he could have just gave him a hundred million, but he wasn't going to give him a hundred million while he was alive. Yeah, you know? may, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> said, "I gotta go before I kill." Yeah. Gave you a hundred thousand, and you turned that down. All his money. Um. So, um, any favorite scenes for you? I know you said you liked the scene where they were shopping and you see. Yeah, the them. montage was was cute. Um, yeah. I liked. I guess I, I I would say my favorite scenes and it's just my final thoughts because I really don't have anything to <laughs> add. Um, like I said, I think uh, Mickey, Natalie DeSales character was really the only shining part of this movie. Uh, everything else I could have left. It really should have been uh, recast without Holly Berry. What's uh, why so? It just doesn't work for me. It worked for she, me. She, uh, it just doesn't work. Like I said, I'm not going to need people. So who Whatever. do you think you would have cast during those times? I well, guess a lot of people. Any woman from Def Comedy Jam would have worked. Adele okay. Gibbons would have worked. Uh, you know, somebody who was really Southern and not putting on this this Southern whatever it was supposed to be. <laughs> and also, if we would have taken Robert Townsend out, obviously. Me and Troy You think Biden. another director? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the movie is, is well shot. There's nothing wrong with mm-hmm. it. But I, I I think he made some changes and took his took took himself too seriously. Ne- might I say, <laughs> dare I say, that Tyler Perry may have done, that type of director may have done, I know Tyler Perry wasn't Tyler Perry in 97, Mm-hmm. But he could have treated the source material with more. I don't want to say reverence because that is definitely not the right turn on. Do you think it was him being from the south? With from the south and more of a connection to black women, 
he and I know we have our I, me first and foremost. I have my gripes with Tyler Perry, but I think he could have handled it better than Robert Townsend. Robert Townsend, I think, was trying to take himself too seriously with this movie, and that's why it it wafered. It was just like I didn't know what to like. Should I be laughing now? The music that was playing wasn't you know typical funny music. It, it just doesn't work. But Natalie DeSalle did did great. Uh, her scene <laughs> with, with the the terrible bidet scene, which whatever the slapstick. Yeah. Uh, when she when uh Nisi. Nisi was on her back, she kept like, girl, you're on my back. It's my back. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Is everything all right, Claire? <laughs> you laughing? You it, laughing? Yeah, that's hilarious. It, it's just she was. Uh, she had the the funny part. She was the comedic relief, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't hammer it up. She didn't. They didn't. They didn't make her the the butt of the joke, so to speak. So I guess that was done uh, well. And that's really all I good I have to say about this movie. But I'll let you have the floor. You got like ten minutes, so. Um, uh, give your quotes, yeah, favorite just scenes. Just, quotes, just, just go uh, for it. Go Nikki. wild. Um, I ain't got no rock on my finger, so I say we keep shopping for our baby's daddy. I don't even. <laughs> I, I don't. You could like be making that, that up. <laughs> Is that uh, that's a real thing? Yeah, yeah. When they were in the kitchen, and she, you know, she was like, "Oh, when she was mad. on the phone, she was talking to. She had the the butler talking." No, oh, this uh, was uh Mickey that said this. Uh, I oh, think she was saying okay. Yeah, okay, I think I, she yeah. was cooking at the time, but. Hey, keep shopping for our baby's daddies. <laughs> uh, who was the singer? I can't remember. Uh, oh, did maybe can Mika said I ain't I ain't uh what she say I ain't letting you go till you sing something. That oh, inter- yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just those interactions when they see the celebrities. That's a funny part to me because they go out to eat. Yeah, and I, uh, I don't know who you know Nisi uh, uh, sees I, I Leon. Them. Uh, heavy D, LL heavy cool D, J. You see LL Cool J in the. I think Air How did Park? Howard Hewitt? Was he bigger than not this? I mean, I, I guess Shalom so. Shalom was done at. I don't know. Whatever. Of course, that's my girl. That's my girl. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Everybody loves that scene. I mean, it's it's just a classic. Your, your face is just lighting up. Just, <laughs> I like the movie. You know, that's one movie I can say <laughs> that. Um, I like uh, one scene when they're on their way to uh, the audition for the Heavy D video. They're on the plane. Um, It says, I know, but we're going to need more than manners because right here it says that the rich and famous people hang out at the polo lounge. So, so we don't know about no polo. Say say it like they say. I I, I can't. Yes, you can. We don't know about no polo. (laughs) Then look up in the book and see if you can find a basketball lounge. Yeah. But we gonna need more than manners because right here it says that the rich and famous people hang out at the polo lounge. So? So? We don't know nothing about playing no damn polo. Then look up in the book and see if you can find a basketball lounge. Yeah. <laughs> So I love this. <laughs> I probably could say this whole movie. <laughs> but it is a cult classic. Um, you know, when she passed, um, please give me her name again. Nellie um, DeSalle. And I'm, and I'm I think, hoping I'm I saying that correctly. It's her last name, her married name. Oh, uh, Reed. Is well, it, was I, it Reed? Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. She she was uh, married, from my understanding, when she passed. Uh, but when she passed, uh, you know, everybody... Well, I say everybody, but you know, if you on Twitter, Black Twitter, you just saw a lot of people yeah, give that, you know, I the mean, flowers. Hey, it's a cold for this movie. It definitely is. It's not everyone's taste. It's not everyone's cup of tea. But for those that coffee is, tea, whatever. No, I, I, I just I didn't here. have a I didn't have stay. a um I don't even remember this movie like I vaguely kind of remember yeah. the post that like it was never something I ever watched so I was like what is happening and maybe my preconceived notion seeped into you know yeah and I just couldn't appreciate it I, but I, I well at least I thought that before we viewed it again <laughs> and uh 
with your fresh eyes, and as we I do was, here. I was unchanged. I don't remember. I don't remember if we saw it in the movies first, or if we always saw it, you know, on video or mm, something. I'm but sure because it probably didn't stay in theaters for long. What year was it? Ninety seven. Nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. So you know, I would have been. Uh, you don't have to tell you. Elementary. Age. Yeah. Uh, but we've watched this so many times. It shows. Uh, um, I'm surprised I don't have the DVD by now, but I am going to You're buy it. <laughs> I, I still like physical copies of movies. Like, you yeah, know, it's too. cool to be able to stream, but, you know, we're kind of in that generation where we and have when both. when you want to watch it again, you got to pay the streaming price. Exactly. Again. So at this point, it's like, we hey, see you, I, I can watch BAPS anytime I want to for under $10 if I just get it. All right. Hey, I feel like we are at the end. Do, do, <laughs> do you have another quote to give the people? Uh, Probably give, so give, many more. Give, but give the people two more quotes, please. I, I, that's all that I that's had. All I, I don't want to take too much of your time today. Okay, I don't um. have any to <laughs> add. Um. But there are many more. Go watch it if you haven't watched it. Uh, yeah, we gave the overview. Of course, there are spoiler alerts. But hey, if you're watching this, you should know that. Yeah. So hopefully, you if saw you it before. Watch Baps, and then you Do clicked it. on the link to uh, this to a podcast by Baps. Something wrong with you? Go do it. That's it. That's all I have still. That's all we got. Let's wrap it up. Till uh, next appreciate time. Appreciate y'all. This is Let's View It Again. I'm Gene. That's Steph. And yeah, this yeah. was Bells.